So welcome! Our lecture for today will be Rotational Speed Measuring Devices or Tachometers. So we will start our discussion with the basic working principles of a tachometer. Then we will explore an example using this type of measuring devices on board ships. And in the last part of our lecture, we will look at different types of tachometer. So let's get started. So let us start our discussion with understanding the etymology or the origin of the word tachometer. So this word came from two Greek words, tachos and metron, which means speed and measure. Hence, a tachometer is a device that measures speed. And in order to measure rotational speed, this device uses the principle of taco generator. So this figure here is an example of tachometer generator or taco generator, which output a voltage proportional to the speed being measured. So this figure here is a schematic diagram of a DC taco generator. Okay, so based on that concept, what do you think will happen to the output of the voltage if the speed of the shaft being measured increases? So since the speed and the output voltage is directly proportional, hence the higher the speed being measured, the higher the voltage generated by a taco generator. This figure here shows the diesel generator and our engine room simulator. The N in this diagram indicates the speed of our alternator or AC generator. As of this moment, the speed measured is 0 RPM or revolutions per minute. This means that our generator is currently not operational. So let us start this generator and observe the changes of N or the speed. So at this moment, what is the speed of our generator? Of course, the answer is approximately 906 RPM. However, where did this value come from? So remember that our generator has a rotating shaft. Hence, we can measure the rotational speed of that shaft using a tachometer or tachometer. So this device has two main types, analog and digital. Digital tachometers can be further classified into contact type, non-contact type, time measurement, and frequency measurement. Analog tachometer is comprised of uh, a needle and a dial type interface. Here, the speed is converted to voltage. Then, the value will be displayed in an analog voltmeter calibrated to measure speed. In other words, uh, these two moving needles here are measuring voltage similarly when you use analog multimeter. But instead of voltage readings, the deflection of the needle is calibrated to measure RPM. Hence, if the speed of the rotating object increases, then the output voltage of the tachometer will be higher, resulting in the bigger deflection of the needle, indicating, of course, higher rotational speed. Although this analog device is very common, however, this type of tachometer does not store readings, and it cannot be used to compute details such as average speed and deviation. So another type of rotational speed measuring device is a digital tachometer. So this device is comprised of an LCD or an LED display and a memory for storage. So this can be programmed to perform mathematical operations such as average speed and are suitable for pre precise measurement and any monitoring of any time-based quantities. 
So digital tachometers are common these days. You can see these devices on newer models of uh, motorcycles or cars. The first type of digital tachometer is contact type device. So this type of tachometer needs a direct contact with the object being measured. So this device uses an LCD as a display. The operational temperature ranges from 0 to 40 degrees Celsius. Temperature storage range from negative 20 to positive 55 degrees Celsius. And the rotating speed measurement ranges from 0 0.5 to 10,000 RPM. Of course, this will always vary depending on the specification of a device. So when direct contact is not feasible, we can use a non-contact type digital tachometer. So in this type, a reflective mark is attached to the rotating shaft to reflect the infrared or, or IR rays or visible uh, laser beam to the tachometer to measure speed. So to measure the RPM of the shaft, just press the light touch measurement switch or a simple switch depending on the brand of the device. So this type of tachometers are efficient, durable, accurate, compact, and also visible from long distances. So let us uh, look at how this device is used in actual speed measurement. So as what we can observe, the value changes from time to time. So just like measuring AC voltage in digital multimeter. Hence, we must wait until the deviation of the values become smaller. So in this case, uh, we can report the speed of approximately 1915 RPM. So the last types are time-based and uh, frequency-based digital tachometers. So a tachometer that calculates the speed by measuring time interval between the incoming pulses is known as time-based digital tachometer. So this type of tachometer is more accurate for measuring low speed. And a tachometer that calculates the speed by measuring the frequency of the pulses is called frequency-based digital tachometer. So this type of tachometer is designed by using a red LED and the revolution of this tachometer depends on the rotating shaft. And it is more accurate for measuring high speed. So these are the references for this lecture. If you have questions or clarifications, please comment down below and I will try to answer as soon as I can. So good luck and God bless.